Hi guys, welcome back. I'm still on House Flipper, the Pets DLC. Um, today we're going to do some more exploring. I'm definitely going to bathe my dog. And actually something happened. So I recorded about 45 minutes of gameplay or so and realized that I didn't hit the record button on OBS. So growing pains, right? <laughs> I tried to go back. Um, unfortunately, it had an auto save. So I'm not going to be able to show you some of the things that happened and I'll kind of explain it to you as we go. But the good news is I did figure out how to bathe my dog finally. And actually rewatching my last footage, I was like, wait, I placed a dog bath in that house. So obviously I need to find the dog bath and get one. So that's what I did. Anyway, let's get into it. And there's little Archie. See, here's my cat. I was able to buy a kitty. Isn't he so cute? He's a Bengal and I named him Ben because my cat in real life's name is Ben. He looks nothing like that, but. Okay, so, oh, I also bought this house and I, I actually wanted the blue house, but I didn't have enough money. And this one has a whole bottom area, which when it loads in, I'll show you. See right down there. Oh, and I got this house. So I did so much in that 45 minutes. I got this house for Archie. And I had his name written here, but I deleted it because I wanted to show you how cool this is. So can't go up there or down here, but it's like chalk. Look how cool this is. Hold on, I can't write and talk. There we go, perfect. Look at that, isn't that really cool? I love that detail. That's not just typing, it's writing it in. And then here is my dog bath. Finally, Archie gets a bath. Here we go. After all the drama of trying to use a broom, it's this easy. Rinse him off. Blow dry him. I'm a little bit disappointed. I wish they would have added some soap effects, you know, rubbing him with the shampoo, like other games, but that's okay. So let's go upstairs. Out here, this whole house was, was filthy. I had to use a hose and rinse everything off. And then in here, all this furniture is all really old. Okay, look at this design flaw. I open the door from, okay, come over here, go out, look, I can't even go into the living room. I don't know what they were thinking, but anyways, so I came in, I gutted all this room other than the kitchen. I wanted to keep that stuff there so I could see where things were placed, but here's my cat stuff. I got this treadmill. I really want the kitty to use it because I want to see what it looks like, but he hasn't yet. And then some other cat items. So let me go grab him real quick. Come here, Ben. I'll take you up inside. Look how pretty his eyes are. And I'll show you some of the toys too. Some of the toy interactions are really cute. There you just get a good look at him walking around. Looks like he's gonna go take a drink of water. Let's see some of the toys. We'll do the fishing rod. I really like the fishing rod animation. It's really cute. Come on, Ben, play with it. Don't make me a liar. There we go. <laughs> like, it's really fun. And when you click, it kind of pulls the rod up. It's like playing with a real cat. It's pretty fun. And then I'll show you the yarn ball. Go play with the yarn. He just kind of chases it. And then the mouse. When I put the mouse down before, he didn't really care for it very much. I'll try again anyway. 
And yet, I don't know. You gonna take a nap? Oh, there he goes. Oh, well, I guess he's done. That's very typical cat behavior, honestly. Just take a nap. Why not? Get this mouse. Come here. There we go. Just take a nap in the hallway. It's fine with me. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. I'm going to show you how to adopt the cat. Since I didn't record that footage. So I went to Morgan's Pet Care and here's the different animals they have available and they have six choices for each animal. So here's our choices right now. The Maine Coon, I'm really thinking I'm gonna go with Maine Coon. I couldn't decide between the Bengal or him before and I've always wanted a Maine Coon in real life so why not get it in game? And I really like Sphinxes too, but uh, I'm gonna have to go with the main coon. He's really, really pretty. Now a name. Spaz. I'm gonna name him Spaz. I had a cat named Spaz when I was a kid. He was black, so. Aww. There he is. Hi, Spaz. I wonder if he's bigger than the Bengal. No. I mean, he might be fluffier, but he doesn't look bigger. So now we'll take all the pets back to the other house. I need to make the other house my office. I still haven't done that. Trying to figure out how to do it. I can't remember. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Okay, so this is the area where for the I'm thinking I'm gonna gut it out put some walls up let me see what it looks like over here okay so hi kitties I'm gonna make it like a cat sanctuary down there looks like there's no kitty houses or anything and I kind of want I had to have the dog houses I want to get the kitties a house too let's see I noticed they've added a lot of really cool stuff I need to look at all of it eventually let's see what kind of cat stuff do you have Oh, these cool jungle gyms. I could put that down in that room. Oh, here we go. These are some cat houses. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I'll just knock all this down. Build some walls. Make a nice big cat room. Then I can adopt more kitties. And typically, I'm a dog person. So... I don't know why, it just sounds really neat to have a cat room. Okay, so now we're gonna gut this area out and start building our kitty sanctuary. gutted. Nice little area here. I'm gonna put my skill point real quick. Mm. 
better hammer. Okay, now we need to start building some walls. Okay, almost done. Mm, that's centered, so now we just need a door. Look for door. That's a little bit fancier than I was thinking. Doesn't really need a knocker. Internal door, I guess? Mm, still not really what I was wanting. Is that the only door options they have? It wouldn't really be furniture. I'm thinking that's the only two choices, so we'll have to go with this. All right. We've got a room. What do you think, kitties? Now we need to start filling it with stuff. What kind of cat stuff can we get? I definitely want to get that cat duplex thing. Or the house or whatever it is. It looks pretty cool. If I can find it again, it is, that is. Oh, filter it. Oh, here we go. Okay, which one? I like the pastel, of course. And some grayish color. We'll fill the inside with some pretty pastels. And just vary the colors. Red eyes, because why not? Oh, look how cool this is. We'll put it right here in the center. I like how that wall, how it's kept wooden. It looks Looks kind of neat. I'll do this right here. And I did it again. Brought up my tab instead of right clicking. Yeah, that looks good. What do you think, guys? You don't care even a little bit. Okay. Alright, what else can we put in here? Oh, I gotta move their other stuff down here. So I'll grab our food bowl. Bring this back down here so they have something to eat and drink. Oh, look at that! He's inside of it. I guess they're a fan. Now we'll go grab his litter box. Um, where's a good spot for this? Probably over by the food bowl, actually. And last 
last but not least, the treadmill. I really want them to get on this. I wonder how I can make them do that. I want to see what the animation looks like. Okay, where can we put this? Back here? Yeah, it looks good. Okay, and now I want to get that crazy cat jungle gym thing. Alright, go with this. Kind of want it in this corner. Oh, it like hangs on the wall. That's really, that's cool. It look good right here. Um, I might have to place it and then move that uh, treadmill. I think the treadmill might be in the way. I'm place this right here real quick. Move this over. And see if we can get it in the corner. Yes. A little bit more. Yes, perfect. Looks so good. Okay, we'll move this back over right here. Yes, our playroom is coming together. We need some wall decorations. Or maybe I should get one of these cat trees. Might as well have both, right? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. That's not very pink, that looks brown. Pastel rose is pinker. Ooh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> gray wood. Gray oak. Yep, gray oak. All right, we'll put this in the corner over here. There's gonna be stuff for the cats to do all over this room. All right. Now I think we need to start thinking about decorating the walls and the floor. Don't be jealous, Archie. It's okay. Here. I think I want some sort of hardwood. These two are really... Oh, that's really, really pretty. I like the thicker panels. I'll go with this. There we go. Much better than that gray floor. Okay, now we'll do the walls. Oh, I love this dog wallpaper. That's so cute. I wonder if they have cat. I'd be really surprised if they don't also have a cat wallpaper. It sure doesn't look like it. We've got dinosaurs, raccoons. They do not have any cat wallpaper. Wow. Okay, well, I guess they're just gonna have to have dog wallpaper and be okay with it. Because it's too cute not to use. <laughs> oh, look at that. They've got a dog in a little dinosaur costume. That's so cute. Aww. I'm not gonna do it all over though, cause it's pretty busy. But for one wall, it's cute. I love that. It looks really good. So we'll sell the rest of this. And for the other walls, I'm thinking just paint. Oh, let me do this real quick. So let's look at the paint. So probably some sort of light gray to kind of accent the lighter gray dogs on the wallpaper. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, this one's nice. Yeah, the Milky Way, I think we'll go with that. Ah. 
speed it up. together it's a perfect wall or I mean perfect color for the accent wall now some lights oh wow look at these neon lights oh the fish are cute the cats okay obviously we're gonna use the cats let's see what else dog ornament candles I like those hanging lights. I'm gonna grab this one. We'll go with the. Hmm. This blue is nice. Oh, it's so small. Um, maybe over here. Put it on either side of the little house thing. We'll get the other one. Oh, that's supposed to be for the right, but I feel like they should be facing in. So I'm just going to keep it how it is. Oh, I can make it bigger. I'll go with the bigger one. Oh, it's massive. <laughs> it's really big. That's okay. Now I'm kind of not liking the two-tone wall. That's all right. Eventually, probably take that back wall out, anyways, and put some other animals in there. Now we gotta get this side to match. Oh, how am I gonna line this up? Try and get it to be the same. Hmm. I have to do a lucky guess, I guess. Let's see. Wow, I think it's perfect. <laughs> hey, good for me. Ooh, pretty. I love that blue. The kitties are gonna have a dance party in here. Like that Meow Mix YouTube video. What is over here? Oh, it's the shed area. Yeah, this would be perfect if I just gut this out and maybe open it up to that room. Put like put some reptiles in there or some guinea pigs. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, now we need some lights on the ceiling. What is this exactly? Oh, it's like a candle holder. Okay, that's kind of neat, but not what I need. I like these hanging lights. These are kind of cool. We'll try some mm, pink. Let's see what it looks like. How do I hang these? Just... Oh, I see. It'll st okay. So it'll string it. Oh, that's neat. Kind of just back and forth like this. Okay. Now, what does it look like on? Whoa. Okay, I, I gotta rehang those. <laughs> Let me see what else they have real quick. Or maybe I'll just go with the white. I think the white would probably be better. I'll hang it better around the room. Gonna go in this corner. And then just kind of go around. And then I need it to go over here. Oh, I can't connect them. And I don't like it going through the cat house like that. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do it again. <laughs> Sorry guys. 
I mean, I really like the way it looks otherwise. I just don't like it going through the cat cage like that. That doesn't look good. So this time, and I'm gonna go with the white. I'm just gonna start from the side of the cat cage this time, like right here. And now I'll go around the room. This should be a lot better, I think. We'll just stop it right here. Okay, there we go. Hey, that looks really good. Now for a rug. Oh, they have a rug that matches that wall. I think it'll be too busy though. The wall's busy enough on its own. It doesn't need an accent rug to add to that. So let's see. I'm kind of thinking the white fluffy rug. It's kind of what I had in mind. Yeah, I think that's gonna be too much. Definitely too much. Yeah, this looks good. It's not as big as I'd like, but it looks really nice. So we'll go with this one. Well, there we go. I think our little cat cat sanctuary turned out really, really nice. I'm gonna get them some automatic feeders and waterers. They need more than one set of bowls, I think. We'll put one over here and give it some water right next to it. There we go. What an improvement. Oh, I can't fill up those bowls. That's weird. They're just there for looks, I guess. I can turn on the light and turn it on and off and that's it. But anyway, the room looks really good. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Way better than that wasted space that was here before. I'll have to adopt another cat or two so that they can all four have fun in here together. What do you guys think? You like it? You like your little cat sanctuary? I'll show it to you guys in the daytime. It'll be easier to see it. Okay, so now, now I'm gonna work on the outside walls. We got the inside looking really, really pretty, really nice. Now we need to work on the outside. And it looks like the top of the house is like white wooden planks. So I'm gonna pick these to match. and we'll speed it up. finished. It matches perfectly. So now I'm going to work on the inside up here a little bit. First I need a desk. Definitely need a desk for my laptop. We'll just go with all black. We'll 
put that right here. And grab the laptop. Move this back over. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to change out this flooring. I can't stand looking at it anymore. And of course I want to go with some sort of hardwood. I'm thinking like a gray would look really pretty because it's an ocean view home. This one looks perfect. Yes, this looks really, really pretty. I love this floor. And then for the walls, some soft colors. These are nice. We'll do this all over the room, except for the kitchen. So speed it up. Good thing I bought the big paint can. It was a lot of paint. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this wall and the kitchen a different color. A good matching corresponding color. So I'm gonna go, I think, a fresh morning. Yeah, this looks good. I think medium will be big enough too. This isn't a very big area. Speed it up. really really good these colors look perfect together so now I'm gonna sell all this okay and we'll put some new kitchen stuff in we'll start with a fridge I'm gonna go with a red like a red fridge kind of dramatic Gray handles look good. No, the black looks good. Put that right here. Now for some cabinets. Ooh, I like this wood, that's pretty. That's a nice countertop. We'll put the sink right here. No, wait, not right here, under the window. Like that. And then across the way, we'll get the countertop with the stove. 
and change that countertop to match the other one. There we go. I'm gonna put the cabinets up first. I think like right here, that's a good height. And now to look for another little piece of cabinet. I don't wanna do a whole long counter, it'll be too much. But just like a little chunk. Oh, like this. Oh, this is color with... Oh, here it is, the tabletop. There we go. Yeah, just like this. Have a couple more of those. There. That looks good. Alright, now I'm gonna add a little decoration on that wall. I'm thinking like pots and pans or, you know, something kitcheny. Oh, something like these pots and pans hanging. I think it'll look really nice. We'll hang that right here. Awesome. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for today's video. It turned out longer than I expected. So I wanna continue to make my house look nice, continue remodeling downstairs, get more of the pets, interact with them some more. Thank you again for coming by. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Please leave comments. I would love to chat with you. Again, thank you so much for your time and come back soon. Bye.